there's nothing that says feminine and sweet like a scalloped mat. So let me show you how to make one using the brush tool. Select the brush tool and then open the brush picker. You'll want a hard edge brush, so I'm going to choose this one hard round 19 pixels by double clicking on it. Now the size of my brush is very small, so I'll press the right bracket key until I get it up to about the size that I want for a single part of the scallop edge. Then I'll want to make a new layer and I'll need to adjust my brush because this is what it will look like if I just click and drag right now. So up here in the options bar there's a down facing triangle, click on that and deselect anything that's checked in this brush palette options. Also click on this brush icon and you'll want to move the spacing to the right and you can look up here in the preview to see how it's going to look. I'm going to make this around 80% and then we'll close that and we'll try it out. Click once on your page, press the shift key and drag to the right. Now we've got our first line, so instead of uh, trying that again for the bottom, we'll just duplicate this. So we'll press control J to duplicate that. We'll get our move tool and we'll click and drag it straight down. Now we'll make another layer and we'll do the sides. So let's click on the brush tool and then we'll just click and drag downward while pressing the shift key to constrain our line to a straight line. And then we'll duplicate this line just like we did last time by pressing control J. And then we'll get the move tool and just click and drag it over to the left while pressing the shift key. The shift key makes everything go in a straight line. So now we have all four sides and we need to make the middle. First of all though, I'll just combine all these layers by clicking on one and shift clicking on the last one and then we'll choose from the flyout menu, we'll choose merge layers. Then I'll get the rectangle tool and click and drag an outline just inside that scalloped area and we'll go up to edit and choose fill selection and we'll fill it with the foreground color which is black. I'll say OK to that and then I'll deselect, select, deselect. So now we have our scallop mat, but it's not very pretty. So let's open up some paper and we'll come over here, get the move tool and click and drag it over onto the page. We'll come up to layer, group with previous and there it is. I'm going to click back on that little layer right there, the scallop layer and open the effects palette and add a drop shadow and there we have our scalloped mat. And here's how it looked like when I added the photo and all the fun 3D embellishments. So that's how you use a brush tool to create a darling scalloped mat.